Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Maricela. Hello, hello Norma. Hello, Ronan. Hello. Okay, good to see you in the class. Hey, it's a, a new adventure over here, right? So to learn uh, English as a second language. Okay, Myra is just getting into the class. People are just uh, getting connected and that's fantastic. Okay. Let us go a little bit. Okay, hope <clears throat> that you are okay. How are you today, uh, people? Today is Friday. And you, hello, 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 hello. Today is Friday. You know it and you like it, right? Today is Friday, you know it and you like it. Is that right? I have Alberto here, Gerardo here. Okay, do we feel to activate your camera? That's quite important. Remember, I need to see you in the class. Uh, let me see. I have, okay, pretty good, Oscar. That's better. Okay, let me see. Okay, nine people, and, and, and it's getting better, right? So I will wait a minute more. <clears throat> Gerardo says, oh, all right, Gerardo, Gerardo, I didn't see, I didn't see the message, Gerardo, tonight, but I will check it now, okay? Okay. Okay, Gerardo, I got it. Now, today is Friday. You know it, then you like it, right? Okay, let's wait a little bit so that the rest of the people can get into the class. I have Ronan, Oscar, Josue, Maria is in the class now, Alison is over here. Mayra, so here, Maricela, Norma, Gerardo, and Gilberto. Welcome. Well, I will check the list attendance. <coughs> okay, so we can start with the class. <clears throat> I hope you're okay. So if you're over here, just let me know. If, okay, say hello, say present, and that's it, right? Adam, Allison. I'm here. Okay, Andrea Raquel. Camelia, yeah. Yeah. Eh, Dina Maribel, Gerardo Emanuel, Gerardo is over here, Gilberto, present, okay. Gladys Rubidia, Héctor Salvador, Henry Ernesto, Isabel Sarlim, Jonathan Josué. Eh, Mayra Norabel. Present. Okay, Maria Elba. Present, teacher. I saw Maricela over here. <coughs> Miguel Ángel. Hello. Hello, hello, Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara, I saw Norma. Hello, teacher. Yeah, that's right. You're there, right? Oscar Josue. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Oscar is over here. Very good. Good evening. Ronan, I saw Ronan. It's present, teacher. Okay, Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Vidal. 
Present teacher. Okay, and Claudia Veronica. Okay, very good. So good evening. Cla Claudia, are you there? Are you there, Claudia? Claudia, Claudia. Okay, good evening, everyone. No, Claudia's not uh, here, right? Gladys is over here. Give me a second, please. Okay. I have it's 13 people. That's getting better, people. Ronald, Oscar, Norma. All right. So, you know, that was the first the first time I, I checked the list of tennis. Larry, you know, right? We're gonna have a second, our second part. Okay, now, uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do tonight. Actually, well, you are in church of presenting a, a story, right? It may be Pinocchio, uh, Cinderella, we don't know, but you should really know about it, right? So, but before uh, starting with the activity, Okay, we are going to start with some exercises, okay? Yesterday, we learned something. What did we learn yesterday, people? What do you remember about yesterday's class? A ver, Alice is over here. Thank you, Veralis. What do you remember about yesterday's class? What, what was very significant for you yesterday? Uh huh. What do you remember? Did you learn something uh, specific yesterday? <clears throat> I know you were participating a lot, and you were like helping me to 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 solve some exercises over here. But what do you remember exactly about about yesterday? Was it a difficult class? Was a an interesting class? Uh, it, it it was um um I don't know. Just tell me about what you remember about yesterday. Okay, sixteen people got connected, and it, it's all right. No people. Well, we're gonna start with this tonight. Okay, it will be very quickly, people. This is what we started yesterday, right? We started. We started to study about uh, questions in English, right? So that's what we we studied yesterday, right? So the instructions, well, as you can see over here, the information is about the the, the section number three. Okay, so about double H question words. We have been working during a couple of days about it. Okay, so this is the exercise you encountered in the in the platform. As always, I like to go over it so that uh, we can reaffirm some some exercises and grammar that we have been studied during the class. Okay, so it says unscramble, unscramble, you know, unscramble, right? What's an uns unscramble, people? What's an unscramble? What's the meaning of that word? Unscramble. Who can tell me about it? What is the meaning of that word? Eh? We got a new word here. Unscramble. What's unscramble, people? Can you listen to me clearly? Decifrar. Ah, all right. So that's unscramble, right? That questions. Okay. Type. What's this verb? What is this verb? Where is the verb type? Where is the verb type? Escribir, pero uh, con el teclado. All right, so that's, okay, that's digital, right? And when we, and the other one is write, write down, okay, write down with your hand, handwriting, right? But this one is typing, typing, or to type. Okay, very good. So we, we got two words. L listen, quite important to, to, to observe every single word that can be significant to 
our process, right? Everything's important. Now, how, where you go to school do? What is the question over here? As quickly as possible, please. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to go school? To school? Question mark, right? Question mark. Where do you go to school? Hey, where do you go to school? Very good. Number two, we're going to go a little bit mm -hmm. fast, a little bit uh, quickly because we have a lot of work to do. Do what you do. Do what you do. What What's do you question? do? What do you do? What do you do? Good. What do you do? Excellent. Where John come that from? Where does? Where does? Dash. Come. Come. Where does come? From John's. From. John? Nice. Like that? From? Like that, people? Is it where does come from John? No, where does come from John? That's what you said, right? From I um, I typed it mm -hmm. twice. Is that correct? Uh for me, not. No, what, what is the solution then? Where does John? Where does John? John. Where does John come? Come from. Oh, yeah, you said okay. It. Where does John come from? And that's it, right? So John at the end? Uh uh. Okay. Now, yes, right? So where does John come from? I think it's better. Very good. Now, then we have, where do you play tennis to? <clears throat> where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Very good. Where do you play tennis? Excellent. How do they get, how do they get at work? Hey, do you have to work? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me get to work? Let me know. 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 Let Let's check. Now, first one. Can somebody read this, please? Can me ayuda a leer? Where do you go to school? Excellent. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Where does John, Where does John come from? Where do you play tennis? Where do you Where play, do you play tennis? tennis? Where do you play tennis? How do they get to work? How do they get to work? How do they get to work? Good. Okay, so this this was yesterday's topic, right? So this this was topic number twelve. Okay, session number three. What's going on with uh, the topic for tonight? What is the topic for tonight? Where is the topic for tonight, people? Okay, good evening, Aidan. I can see you are over here, Aidan. How to use questions with what time? How to use questions with what time? Pretty good. Now, but before getting to that part, we're gonna try to go over some exercises that we are still missing in the in this book, right? So after this, I will present some information on uh, how to say the time in English, okay? 
Now, yesterday we were like like uh, quirking in um in in double H question words, right? Today we're gonna we're gonna work in this part that is an expression about what time, okay? But before going to that part, okay, do me the favor to create the question over here. Ahora sí, no la voy a escribir, solo díganmelas, ¿cómo, cómo la ordeno? Ajá. Uh -huh. Why have... Why does he have a meeting? Why he have a meeting? Okay, uh, Aidan, I got a message. Aidan, ya, ya leí su mensaje, Aidan. Estoy, estoy pendiente del respecto, okay? Uh, okay, now, if you got a question, ¿quién me ayuda a digitarla y, co y colocarla en el chat? Quiero ver cómo les va a quedar. <coughs> Okay. Why he have a meeting? Why he have a meeting? Think about number two, because we're going to solve this one. Pretty good. Alison got it, right? Pretty good. Okay. I think we change the color. That seems better. Okay, why does he have why does he have a meeting? Okay, what would be the answer? Why does he have a meeting? ¿Qué se podría qué podríamos inventar porque él tiene una reunión? Why does he have a meeting? <clears throat> Because he has uh, to work. Because he has to work. Okay, excellent. Because he has to work. Fantastic. Good evening, Hector. Good evening. Now, what about number two? <clears throat> Where she process the payments? Uh huh. <clears throat> okay, Hector. <clears throat> Okay, what would be the question in the, the question number two, people? Where does she process? Where does she process? <clears throat> Where does she process the payments? Can you please type it in the chat? Could you please type it in the chat? All right. Now, what would be the possible answer, people, to this question? Where does she process the payments? Process the payments on the post. Okay, she processes. She processes. <laughs> the payments on the post on the post or at a bank okay very good now let's go over the next part don't forget because don't, don't worry i will i will i will erase this part okay now number three people what can you tell me about what ingrid do on wednesdays What's the question there? What do on Wednesday? Wednesday. What? What do Ingrid on Wednesday? What do Ingrid on Wednesdays? Can you give me one second. Huh? What does? What does? What does? Ingrid do. But but why not do? 
Say, what, 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 what does? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ingrid. Ingrid, do. Ingrid, do on Wednesdays? Uh, uh, when All right. Hey, what does she do on Wednesdays? <laughs> what, what can you tell me about Ingrid? Can you invent some some sentences? What does what does Ingrid do? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? She usually go to play tennis. She usually go to play tennis. Okay. She usually go or she usually goes. Goes. She usually <laughs> goes to play tennis at the <laughs> tennis court. All right. What else does Ingrid do? On Wednesdays. What does she do on Wednesdays? No more. She plays tennis and that's it. Okay, now let's see. Let's go with number four. Okay, what about number four? Number four. When employee acquired the raw material. When employee acquired the raw material. When does the employee acquire their raw material? When people. When does he when does he acquire the raw material? When does he acquire the raw material? Uh-huh. When does the employee acquire the raw material? Can, can you create one sentence, please? Uh, he acquired the raw material on uh, Fridays. I'm sorry. He acquired or he acquires? Acquires. Okay, so the, I'm, 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 I'm solving this exercise because I consider you, you still need to practice this info, okay? So, well... We're gonna go over some some other exercises, but before going to that part, okay, I need to explain something. Okay, uh, I will stop sharing this. Oh my goodness! Uh, I will I will stop uh, sharing that info, and I will present something that I consider it's important, right? So. We're gonna go over it, okay? We're gonna go over it. We're gonna practice a little bit about this, okay? And then you are going to help me. Hey, you know, we're gonna start uh, talking about the expression, what time, okay? What time, what time do you get up? What time do you go to, you go to bed? What time do you go to church? What time is the party? What time, what time is it? Hey, what time is it now? What time is it now? Can you see your watch? Do you have a watch with you now? Tienen algún reloj de pulsera por ahí? O de pared que pueden estar viendo ahorita? What time is it? It's 8.21. 8.21. Okay. It's 8.21. Pretty good. So we're going to start talking a little bit about this. I consider it's important to know about how to say the time in English, okay? And I have, for example, uh, a quick reminder that it's very important to say, like, for example, it's 10 to. Now, let us imagine that this is it's a, a clock, right? Okay, and uh, let me see. It's 5 to 3. It's 5 
Pa three, you know, it's very important to 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 remember about uh, about this. Okay, it's half pa three half. When you have that this time, it's because you need to say it's half past. It's half past what? Three, because this is the hour, right? It's three. It's three. En el reloj vemos que que tenemos la hora señalada que son las tres, okay? Pero dependiendo cómo se mueva la minutera, así vamos a ir diciendo el tiempo. Okay, for example, eh, si pasan cinco de las tres, ¿cómo decimos? Uh, it's five to three. It's five past it's five three. Past Faltan. cinco para las tres. Para, no, perdón, este, no, pasan cinco no, de las tres. Cinco. En buen salvadoreño. O son las tres y cinco. Eh, antes como que decíamos pasan cinco de las tres. Hoy casi no, casi no escucho que digan así, pero casi siempre decimos son las son las tres y cinco. Cuando son en punto, miren cómo vamos a decir es three o'clock, three o'clock. Cuando la minutera está acá, three o'clock. It's five past three. Si pasan diez minutos, cómo vamos a decir? It's ten past three. It's ten past three. Okay. Si, si, si pasan 15 minutos. It's quarter past three. It's quarter past three. Quarter. Si pasan 20 minutos. It's 20 past three. It's 20 past three. Si, si pasan 25. It's 25 past 3. It's 25 past 3. Si pasa media hora. It's half past 3. It's half past 3. 35 minutos. It's 25 to 3. Okay, now it, it changes, right? Ya se fijaron que de acá para acá se dice una manera. Y aquí ya empezamos a decir faltan 25 para las 4. Oh, en este caso digamos que faltarían para las tres, ¿va? Pero si seguimos la, la si seguimos digamos este que esto va a cambiar a las cuatro sería it's twenty five to four. Que imaginemos que va a cambiar a las cuatro la hora. Dice que a las tres. ¿no? Faltan veinticinco para las tres. Okay, what about this? ¿Qué si 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 pasan cuarenta minutos? It's twenty to three. It's 20 to three. Okay, si pasaron 45 minutos. It's quarter to three. It's quarter to three. Uh, 50 minutos. It's 10 to three. It's 10 to three. Y si faltan cinco para las tres. <coughs> It's five to three. Five to three. It's five to three. So this is the way we, we say the time in English, okay? This is the way we say the time in English. Okay, I hope that uh, we can... Okay, it's half past nine. ¿Qué hora es? Uh, nueve y media. All right, now you can see the time over here. Ya vieron la hora aquí, ¿verdad? Okay, aquí vamos a ir viendo la hora. It's half past nine. Okay. What time is it? It's five past one. It's five past one. Very good. What time is it? It's 22 minutes to two. It's almost right because it's like 22, 22 minutes to two. Okay. Now, what time is it? It's 
No, Alison. No, Alison. We're, we're gonna see them later. Don't worry. Okay. So, what time is it? <clears throat> It's 25 to 3. It's 25 to 3. Let me see. It's 25 to 3. Pretty good. Now, what time is it? <clears throat> it's 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. Pretty good. It's 1 o'clock. What time is it? It's 25 to it's 25 yeah, it's just, you know one minute less right it's 24 minutes past 3 it's 24 minutes past 3 oops my goodness okay this is a quarter to 2 okay that was my fault what time is it it's Two minutes past five. It's three three minutes. Past five. Okay, three minutes past five. Three or two, I mean. We actually can see perfectly over here, so we may say it's three minutes past five. Now here is twenty-five past two. A 13 minutes to 6, right? Over here. Now, what time is it? What time is it? It's half past 12. It's half past 12. Very good. What time is it? Eight to seven. Eight to seven? Pretty good. It's at minutes to seven. Okay, what time is it? It's 20 past minutes seven. It's 20 past seven. Pretty good. It's 20 minutes past seven. What time is it? It's quarter past three. It's a quarter after, uh, a quarter past three, right? Pretty good. We're almost done. What time is it? It's 29 past eight. It's 29 minutes past eight. Good. What time is it? It's five. Okay, Raquel. It's five minutes after a pass. It's five past ten. Good. What time is it? It's twelve o'clock. Okay, you will say it's twelve o'clock, or you will say it's noon. Noon, right? Noon. Or... Okay, what time is it over here? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. What time is it in the second one? Half past one. It's half past one. What time is it in the number three? It's quarter past two. It's quarter uh, past two. Two, right? What about this 
What about this? What time is it? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Over here? Half four. Okay, half past four. Okay, what time is it? 25 past six. Okay, pretty good. What time is it? It's quarter to eight. It's quarter to eight. What time is it? Five past ten. Five past ten. Good. What time is it? It's twenty-two to two. It's twenty-two to two. Okay, very good. What time is it? Is 25 past 20. Okay, 25, 24, 25. Very good. What time is it? It's two past five. It's two minutes past five. Very good. And the last one? Thirteen to it's thirteen minutes to six. Very good. What time is it right now? What time is it right now, people? It's twenty-six to nine. It's twenty. Twenty-seven. Oh yeah, twenty-six or twenty-seven. Pretty good. Wow. You know, uh, it. Telling the time in English is not that difficult. You saw it, right? Okay. Uh, and well, you know, that is the expression that we, or the expressions that we need to use to provide the time in English. Now, now that we know, there, there's, there's, uh, I think there's a person who told a hey, teacher, we need to study the, the numbers in, in English. That's right. We're gonna. I will look for for a video so that you can you can um, tell the numbers up to one hundred. Okay, at least up to one hundred. Later, uh, well, you are going to learn how to say numbers up to to one thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, um, one hundred thousand, etc., up to one million and and more if you wish. Right. So uh, we're gonna do it. Don't worry. Because somebody asked me about it. We're going to study about, about uh, seeing the numbers in English. And, you know, what are we going to do now, people? What are we going to do now? Well, you know this. This is an agenda, right? This is Mrs. Robles. Okay, Mrs. Robles. We need to read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell the partner apartment about the time she does some activity. For example, um, if we read, who can describe her agenda? Who can help me describe the agenda of Senora Robles? Uh -huh. So uh, in order to start, uh, let me tell you that you will say like this, at, thank you, Alison. At, right? When you say when you say the time in English, you say at. Cuando dicen la hora, dicen at. At seven fifteen, oh, at fifteen past seven, at uh, half past eight, uh, at night, at noon, at uh, um, fifteen to two, fifteen minutes to two, etc. Right? But you need to say at at. Cuando digan la hora, tienen que usar at. Right? So, ¿quién me ayuda a describir la agenda de la señora Robles? Alison? Thank you, Alison. Sí, thank you, Alison. Fifteen past seven, uh, Mrs. Robles has a meeting with the marketing department. Okay, very good. Now, can you pay attention to what Alison is, is 
saying, ok, ella está usando el, el, los verbos que hemos estado practicando con anterioridad y está usando el presente simplemente, ok. Uh, 15 minutes past seven, she has a meeting with the marketing, de in the marketing department. Very good. What happens at this hour? At uh, half past eight, uh, she has a video call with the supervisor from West Company. Okay, she has a video call with the supervisor from the West Company. Good. What about at this hour? At nine, uh, I don't know how to. <laughs> She has a workshop uh, to research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. All right, very good. And what happens at noon? At noon, she have lunch, has lunch. She has lunch. Oh. What if I, after, I mean, um, uh, 15 to 2? 15 to, at 15 to 2, uh, she has the second part of the workshop. All right. And five, at, at 5 40, 55? Uh, at 5 to 6, she sends tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Excellent. She sends the following, okay, the following schedule to, or the next day schedule to Miss Lopez. Excellent. Very good. Now, what are we going to do just right now? Okay. Now, well, let us, let us answer this question. What time is the video call with the West Company? Uh, what? Th at half past eight. At half past eight. Now, keep it in mind because we have we have three questions over here. What time does the workshop uh, the does the workshop with the research department start? At nine o'clock. She it starts at nine o'clock. Number three. What time does the company close? What time does the company close? At uh, six o'clock. Uh... Yeah, six, right? Because <laughs> pretty good. Now the information is not there, but that's the logic, right? Are you not starting? You know, it's like a que hora cierra. Okay. Pero pues que lo que nos dice que a que hora cierran es que ella sale a las cinco y cincuenta y cinco. Okay, pretty good. The, 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 the company closes at 6. Pretty good. What are we going to do, people? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Ustedes van a crear su propia agenda. Okay, como la agenda de la señora Robles. Y nos la van a presentar. Okay, con, el, con la hora, lo que hacen. Okay, si ustedes gustan seguir este, esa hora o poner otro, otros momentos... En el día, pues hagan. Ok. Y luego nos lo presentan. Ok. Luego nos, nos lo presentan. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Vamos a darle que unos 10 minutos a la actividad. Cuando pasen esos 10 minutos, entonces yo voy a elegir um, a algunos de ustedes para que nos presenten su agenda de trabajo. Ok. Now, here we go. We're going to start. 10 minutes, yeah, 10 minutes for now. 10 minutos y de ahí, algunos participantes, de ahí vamos a ver alguna información que hay acerca de la expresión what time y luego nos vamos a los cuentos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, here we go. 10 minutes, people. 10 minutos para crear su agenda y presentarla.
Okay, time is over. Okay, I will ask to some people to share uh, your agenda, okay? <clears throat> now, volunteers, okay? I think it's better when I ask for volunteers. Volunteers to tell me about is your agenda at your job? Agenda at work. <clears throat> Anybody? Can somebody help me with the activity? Volunteers. Let me see. Okay, Hector. Volunteers. Okay, who wants to share the agenda? Thank you, Maria. Thank you. You can start now, Maria. Thank you. Yes, you can start now. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, eh, casi que es mi rutina. <laughs> Mi rutina casi diaria. Eh, en 30, 30 half past seven, I leave the house to go to work. And at nine o'clock, and I am going to leave document with the manager. And at 12 o'clock, I leave work for home. And I, 20 past, no, 20, 22, 12, I leave the house again for work. Um three o'clock I have afternoon cook coffee and I sit o'clock I leave work for home. Fantastic. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. You have a lot of things, a lot of activities at work, right? Quite good. Now any any other volunteer? Thank you, Mary. Uh, very good. I have Alison. Okay, Alison, take your time now. Okay. <clears throat> At nine, I have a daily meeting with with the client. At half past nine, have breakfast. At ten, I plan the day and work on the actual ticket. At one, I have lunch and do the dishes. At two, continue working on the ticket. At <laughs> half four, and I have the end of day meeting with the team lead. And at five, I lock my time, leave comments on the ticket, and turn off the computer. And that's for thank you. Quite good, great pronunciation. Okay, thank you very much, Alison. You are improving, I can see you are improving. Okay, Henry, welcome to the class, okay? Now we are trying to get our agenda about the activities we do during the day in our job. Okay? That's what we are trying to do, Henry. Any other volunteer? Is there any other volunteer people? People who want to share uh, the, the agenda at work? Okay, Henry, you told me yesterday, right? You told me yesterday. Don't worry, because I know about it, Henry. Okay, anybody else? Can somebody else tell me about the agenda you follow in your in your job? 
Now you're very quiet tonight, people. Creo que se están ahorrando un poco este la, la, la fuerza, la energía para contarnos esos cuentos que nos trajeron esta noche. Pero está bien, ¿ok? Está bien. Now let me see. Now we're gonna do something, all right? Now, uh, let me see. So it's not gonna be for tonight, okay? Lo vamos a dejar para el día lunes la agenda, ¿ok? Para que todos la preparen bien, la digan sin, sin necesidad de leer. Y pues nos vamos a, 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 a trabajar nuevamente al libro. Y de ahí voy a dejar el espacio para... Voy a dar unos cinco minutitos para que terminen de preparar su cuento. Y de ahí sí, le vamos a entrar los cuentos, ¿ok? Directamente con presente, simple. ¿De acuerdo? Todo era a creatividad de ustedes. Si ustedes eh, crearon alguna PowerPoint con imágenes o algo, pues está bien. Ok, let me see. Vamos a tratar de terminar con el tema que tenemos ahorita. O por lo menos de abordar, no terminarlo, sino más bien de, ter de terminar de introducirlo, ok? So, you know, the expression is what time, right? And you can use this question in the following way. And, in the in the next way now where do you work well, we are still in the unit number three now in here we're gonna learn how to use a uh, question with what time you see what time we started with a presentation and we say what time is it right what time is it and quite important for you to say it's eight past one okay it's eight past one. Okay, Vidal is facing some problems. I can see he faces some problems with the internet. Well, I hope he can solve it. And you know, but when you when you when you are using the person singular, this is with the verb to be, right? What time is it? Now, can you tell me another question with the verb to be? ¿Quién me dice otra pregunta con el verbo to be? What time is it? What time is the party? What time? What what time is is the is the class? Is the English class? Mm -hmm. What else? What time is? Okay, you can create a lot of questions with it. Okay. But when you move to a question with a simple present tense, and you know that you are using the person singular, the meaning is the person singular, right? The meaning is the person singular. You know, what's uh, what's third person singular, people? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? Ya lo hemos dicho, ¿cuáles son? She, he, she, he, and it. ¿Cuál de esos tres sustituye the meeting? It. It. Ok. It. It's over here, right? O sea que aquí está hablando de la reunión. Y como que acá dijera, la reunión comienza a las 11. Okay. What time does the meeting start? It starts, fíjense bien cómo hacen los cambios. What time does the meeting start? Miren el verbo cómo quedó en su forma base. Ok, ¿por qué? Porque ya tenemos el auxiliar, recuerden. Miren, ahora cuando respondemos, ya lo usamos como debe ser en tercera persona. Ok, con su cambio respectivo en el verbo. It starts at 11 o'clock. Right? It's quite important for you to notice about it. What time do you do? Do, right? Do you arrive? Miren el verbo. What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? Se pudiera contestar. I arrive at work at about 6.48 or 12 to 7 a.m. Okay. What time do employees do employees leave 
they they usually they usually leave around seven or thirty past or half past seven. Okay, so you need you need to be careful with with doing that in the in the especially when you create the questions, right? And you need to be aware about uh, simple present tense when you answer. I mean, uh, in affirmative statements, because these are affirmative statements, right? Affirmative or negative, it all depends, right, on what you need to answer. Any question about it? Any question about what the expression, what time? Let us practice for a while. Now, over oh, here we, we have some, some conversations, okay? It says complete the, the questions using what time and do or does. Practice with the, the conversation with the partner. Now, what is the number of the pitch? The pitch is the, sorry, is the pitch 34, okay? Pitch 34. Now, the first one. There is a requirement of new employees on Tuesday. Really? So what's the question over here? What is the question over here? When does? Okay, when does it start? When does it start? Pretty good. When does it start? Nice. What about number two? Well, it starts at night. It starts at night. What about number two? Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. You are right. I arrived at 15 past eight. Where is the question there? Where's the question, people? Can somebody help me with question number two? Did you arrive? I arrived at 15 past 8 a.m. What time do you arrive? Okay, what time do you arrive? What time do you arrive? Good. Now let's take a look at the number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. The, the photocopy center open. It opens at 10 to 7 a.m. Uh huh. When? 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 When do? When do? No. When do? Now we're talking about photocopy center. ¿Cuál es el pronombre para photocopy center? Somehow, ok, estamos hablando de it, estamos hablando de tercera persona, entonces, ¿cómo debería de ir? When that? Um, not exactly when, but what time? Ajá, uh -huh. what time? What time? What time what? Does 
Das. Das. What time does? The photocopy opened. Right? What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 10 to 7 a.m. Pretty good. Excellent. In the last one, Wendy. I oh, know, I mean, this is number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but restaurants close here or oh, around uh, 25 past 7 p.m. What's the question there? All right, can somebody help me, please? Is it, we we have Wendy. What time? Uh -huh. What time? Okay, what time? What time? Yeah. Now you need to be careful about. Let me see. You need to be careful about the pluralization. Now, is it one restaurant or many restaurants? What time? Do or does? Do. Okay, because we're talking about many restaurants, right? What time do restaurants close here? All right. Important, right? Restaurants. Not only one restaurant, but many restaurants. And number five. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. They open, they open, they, you know, they open around three, half past seven or five past eight. Okay. All right. Um, when do? What time? Uh, uh, what time? Okay, what, what time? time? Okay, what time? What time? Mm -hmm. Do or does? Do. Do. Very good, because we have we have many reports, right? Okay, because they open, they open at a certain time. Now, in the first one, when does it start? Okay, do you think it's very, it, it's okay, or do you think it's very, if you use what time in the number one? 
What time or when does? What time? Ah, it's better, right? It is better. So let, let us go over it. What time? That's it, stop. What time does it start? Okay, now it's better, right? When you know when you can use it when you when you need to know about the day, about the day. When when does it start? Uh well it starts on Mondays at nine. Okay. Okay, pretty good people. All right. So you have you've done a great job. Questions about it? Pregunta de este ejercicio. No questions? No questions? Okay. No questions, people? We are very quiet tonight. No questions? Do you have any question? Well, I hope everything's all right. Hope everything's all right. Now, you know, um, well, I, I was thinking about giving you five minutes to, for you to uh, get ready with the presentation of the stories, okay? And so that we can start with, with, it, with it tonight. Eh, Le voy a dar cinco minutos para que se relajen, para que este, traten de, de acertar en los tres minutos de esta noche. Miren, si no los logramos los tres minutos, no se preocupen, ¿ok? O sea, eso, eso es lo que yo estoy, lo que yo les estoy este, retando a alcanzar. Si no lo logramos, si logramos la mitad o dos minutos, pues no hay ningún problema. Lo importante es que estamos avanzando. Si logramos los tres minutos, ¿ok? Está más que perfecto. No problem. So, les voy a dar cinco minutos. Yo sé que... Este, algunos quizás a lo mejor se sientan un poco este, ansiosos o un poco nerviosos, no. Les voy a dar cinco minutos, ¿ok? Después de esos cinco minutos yo voy a empezar a llamar de acuerdo al, al orden de lista que me ha generado Zoom esta noche, ¿ok? Así que va a ser de esa manera. Ok, five minutes, cinco minutos.
All right, so time is over. Let me see, I will, I will start. Hope you are ready. Okay, I hope you are ready. And that uh, you can just tell us about, about the story you investigated, right? You were like studying a lot. Let me see. Now, if you're if you have some pro technical problems, let me know it. Okay, Adam, I know that he's facing problems just right now. Okay, Allison, do me the favor, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um. Uh well, uh, I cannot share the screen, but I can. Uh, okay. You wanna share the screen? No, I can't. I cannot share. I tried it, but I cannot. I couldn't. Uh, okay. Okay, so I I just going to say, the the tale. All right. Well, the story is named Mary and the Magical Forest. Okay. Once upon a time, there is a girl named Mary. She lives in a small village with her parents and brother. Mary is a kind and hardworking girl. Every day she wakes up early and helps her parents in the farm. In the afternoon, she goes to school to learn and play with her friends. One day, Mary hears that there is a magical forest near her village. She wants to explore the forest, so she asks her parents for permission. Her parents allow her to go, but they warn her to be careful. Mary starts her journey and soon reaches the entrance of the forest. As she walks deeper into the forest, she sees many beautiful trees and animals. She also sees a small house in the distance. She walks towards the house and sees an old woman sitting outside. The old woman greets Mary and asks her why she is in the forest. Mary explains that she heard about the magical forest and wanted to explore it. Uh, the old woman tells her that she is a fairy and that the forest is indeed magical. She gives Mary a magical flower and tells her that if she ever needs help, she just has to hold the flower and the fairy will appear. Mary thanks the fairy and continues to her journey. She spends the whole day exploring the forest and having fun. Uh, when she returns home, her parents are very happy to see her. They ask her about her adventure and Mary tells them everything. From that day on, Mary visits her the forest often and wakes and makes many friends. She always holds the magical flower and knows that the fairy will always be there to help her. And she lives happily ever after. Wow, that was awesome. You took more than three minutes. You took almost four minutes, Alison. And besides that, let me let, let me congratulate you because he is quietly well, the present simple tense with all of the tenses. And besides that, your pronunciation it was quite good. Thank you, teacher. Felicitaciones. La verdad que yo me quedo. Este grupo básico lo acabo de agarrar hace como tres semanas. Y miren los frutos que ustedes dan, que ustedes, ok. Son sus esfuerzos. Yo lo único que hago aquí es tratar de dirigirlo por el camino correcto para que aprendan cómo estudiar inglés. Prácticamente frente es, a eso me dedico. Lo que a mí me ha funcionado le puede funcionar a otros también. Wow, Alessandra was quite good. Camelia, it's your turn. 
¿Saben qué? Tengo un cronómetro por acá. Si alguien quiere que les diga cuánto hicieron exactamente, yo les voy a decir, ¿ok? Yo sí quiero saber, teacher. Que uh, okay. se hizo casi cuatro minutos, Alison. Hizo tres okay. minutos y medio. Ok. 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 Bye. Ok. Bye. Ok. Camelia. Ok. La persona que quiera saber el tiempo solo me dice, ¿ok? Ok, Camelia. Uh, are you ready? Eh, sí, pero voy a leer. Ok, ok. It's all right. Are you ready now? Sí. Ok, let's start. Mary and her cat. Mary has reserved, reserved and shy girl. It is not always easy for him to really to boy his age and sometimes another ever even with older people. Moreover, she tells Timothy everything that happens to him. He listens and does know you hear it says her or interrupt. He always waits for her and doesn't take off from her side. Isn't that a good friend? Mary perfectly resigns the happiness her cat feels when she is by her side. Timothy's poor tells him all the time that is song that Mary loves because the song songs of happiness and love. They spend a lot of time together and don't get, get boring with each other. And I will marry rest. Timothy curls up beside her and the girl falls asleep with a poor leg. And no me acuerdo cómo se dice esta palabra. They accompany each other and so neither of them is afraid of the dark nor strong thunder. Okay. Estimate and Mary are not friends. That were they. No everyone understands the what you can have with a pet. Not everyone understands that Mary says that Timothy is her friend. But you know what? Mary doesn't care. The little girl knows, know, knows how they love each other, accompany each other, and need each other. Mary knows that they are happy together. Mary understands what many need to know that fr friendship can also have four legs and that there are different types of friends. Some say I love you and others like Timothy for when they love and are loved. loved. Thing. Okay, very good. Now I can see that you use uh, the grammar Okay, in the right way that you investigated about pronunciation of words, and that was fantastic. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Camelia. Yes, thank you very much. Do you want to know about the time? Cuánto, un montón. <laughs> <laughs> two forty two. Let me see. Let me see. I want to make sure. Two forty seven. Always. Oh, yeah. Almost three minutes. Le faltan tres segundos, pero wow, qué fantástico. Uh, let me see. Then we have Alison Camelia. Then we have Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. hello. Hola.
he, he had in the dirt. In the words on the animal, there was a very arrogant. Had the dogs, she said to everything, she was this possessed. The squishy was always loudly at this slow turtles. Look at look at the turtle. Hey turtle, do not do so much so much that you're going to get tired or going to pass. He had used it to say slowly in the turkey. When they they were talking in the occurring to the dolphin to make a stray bed with my hair. I sure I can win you a race beside, she said. To me, I sketch the hair as to niche. Yes, to you, this good old bear on the stone and let's see we're going to race. In the hairs were amusing as all the animals need to waste the race, the wrong and the finish. They were murky, murky. Once the wise read the red, pardon, excuse me. Once the wise read the race started among the applause. Really, on her feet, the horse left the building and she's remaining lazy about. She had time enough to one shoe. I love gratitude. Then she starts running. She runs fast and the wind while the dirty when lush but big go stop it. At once she went ahead. She stood next to the house and she sat rest. When he got revenge by her sign, he had made him of of her of more. She lets her advance, advance and set out her to small walls. She did the same several lines I bow. He spake to her mouth. He totally keep her wife until she arrived to the finish dinner. When he heard with you, what up? He raised the all her in bow. He was too lazy. The dirty had won the rice. That day was very sad for the hearts, and she learned a lesson to was never forget you who never mocked on the other. Finish. Okay, Claudia, really nice. Now, uh... I can see that you got a lot of vocabulary over there, and you know, you know, in order to to take advantage of time para tomar ventaja del del tiempo, pues también le voy a le voy a pedir que por lo menos eh, tengan que veinte palabras que ustedes se aprendieron de ese cuento. Pueden ser verbos, pueden ser este eh, palabras que ustedes nunca habían visto, ¿ok? Y que este, por supuesto, que sepan cómo cómo pronunciarlo. Eh, y, y, que se, y que se lo aprendan pues para, para que se quede con ustedes ese vocabulario recuérdense que si se me había olvidado al inicio de la clase yo siempre les, les hago este, el llamado de uh, aprendernos unas cuantas palabras a diarias eso de eso eh, que, quiero que lo mantengan con ustedes todo el tiempo but that was quite good, thank you Claudia thank you eh, you want to know about the time? Yes, teacher. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for doing your best effort, Claudia. Think we have. Gerardo, are you there? I know Gerardo. Sorry, Gerardo, I know that you are as a listener tonight. Gilberto. Ahorita comienza. Yeah, Gilberto, go ahead. The tortoise in the hair. 
On Sapon at time, there was a hair who spent all day writing. Ever called fast the cold room. Tire us carrying him box. The tortoise challenged him to a race. You must be kidding, said the hair lounge. I am so much faster than you. We shall see. The tortoise replied. The next day, the animals of the forest gather to watch the race. Everyone wanted to see if the tortoise could beat the hair. The beer started the race wreck jailing. On your march, head set go. The hair immediately raised at head, running faster than ever. He looked back inside. The third days was online. A fee stood away from the staring line. Funish third days. Or the hair. He is so slow. Why would he want to raise me if he has no chance to win? Confident that he was going to win the race, the hair decided to stood in the middle of the road to rest under a tree. The cool, unpleasant shade of the tree was very relaxed. So much to take the hair fell asleep. Medley to Tordes continued, walking a slow line, but steady. It was determined not to hide out. Soon he found the hair Sleeping, peaceful. The tortoise was winning the race. When the tortoise approached the finish line, all the animals in the forest began sharing when excitement, the noise waking the hair. What could not belly his eyes, the tortoise was cruising the finish. Lying hat lost the race. Finish. Okay, Hilberto, pretty good. Now, now I, I, I'm thinking about something over here. Okay, I'm thinking about that, about the activity just right now. Um, you want to know about the time you did, Hilberto? See? Si. Yeah, three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. Now, something that I will ask you, algo que les voy a solicitar, es que en el cuento que ustedes eh, encontraron, identifiquen dónde está el presente simple. Todo lo que hemos venido estudiando de presente simple. Si no está en el cuento, creen ustedes cinco oraciones en presente simple acerca del cuento. ¿Ok? Porque yo sé que el cuento lo de, les presenta algunas veces pasado eh, y se va moviendo en algunos otros tiempos, pero sí me interesa que identifiquemos dónde está el presente simple. ¿Ok? Now, let's go over the next person. Gerardo is over. Gilberto is done. Gladys, it's your turn. Gladys. Okay, teacher. Okay. The shepherd and the wolf. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd who vain in charge of his ship, but burned to a great extent. While they were grazing, the young men who 
to spend most of the day alone in the company of the animals this you this you to do sometimes for fun he ran into the village screaming that a wolf was attracting his flock the inhabitants ran ready why with house and sheepless to help him however however open reaching the pastor they asked him what had happened he told them that he had made it up out of borders so the alarmer reaction of the town had served him as entertainment. The next day, the shepherd did the same thing. Again, some, something that made the farmer and inhabitants of the town come quickly. It was a joke again. The villagers were furious and went back to work. And so did the Sherper. Return to the flock. The Sherper suddenly saw how some wolves really attracted the sheep. Surprised and scared, he returned to the village so thin again that the wolves were attracting his time for real. However, however, the inhabitants of the town assuming that they were also watching a performance and in order it continued with their charts. Finally, the wolves killed all the sheep of the shippers with how he being able to do anything or receive help. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, Gladys, very good. Gladys. Okay, Hector, I know. Okay, Hector, I can see you that you are in the class. Thank you, Hector, for doing your, your great effort. Okay, in Gladys, that was quite good. Okay, I could notice something uh, quite interesting. And I will say it in Spanish so that everybody can, can notice a, a, about it. Um, noté que a través de esta actividad también ustedes investigan vocabulario. Por ejemplo, yo escuché cuando ella dijo, however, however. Es una, una palabra que nunca la habíamos visto, no me recuerdo haberla eh, puesto en práctica acá, no me acuerdo haberla dicho, no me acuerdo haberse las enseñado, sin embargo, noté que Gladys la dijo muy bien, es un conector, however. Entonces, este, me viene a la mente el, todos los frutos que ese tipo de actividades trae, no solamente de gramática, no solamente es este a como hacerlo como, como ver cuánto tiempo yo logro eh, hablar, mantenerme hablando, pronunciando, sino que también este, va en la, en, en, en la dirección de adquirir vocabulario, ¿ok? Vuelvo y hago la, y hago la siguiente observación. Necesito, vaya, los que, los, yo creo que todos tienen el cuento eh, de manera digital y lo pueden editar. Vuelvanlo a leer, ¿ok? identifiquen dónde está presente simple, ¿ok? Y si no hay presente simple, entonces modifiquemos el cuento y hagamos que el cuento pues obtenga un par de frases en presente simple, que es lo que estamos estudiando, ¿ok? Uh, do you want to know about the time you did, eh, Gladys? Yes. Five, uh, three, three minutes and five seconds. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. 
Okay, that's fantastic. And I think we still have some time. Let me see. Now, I need one volunteer. One volunteer. No volunteers. Give me a second, because I have problems with my battery. Give me a second, please. Okay, no volunteers. So I, I will do something, you know, because we are missing only 15 minutes. Um, okay, Veralis, go ahead. Go ahead, Veralis. One moment, please. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we can see the three little pigs. Yeah. The three little pigs. Once upon time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The pigs lived in a small house with their mother one day. Their mother sent them to build their own houses. As they, as they walked down the road, the first little pig met a farmer pulling a car straw. It seems very warm, perfect for a boil, a house. He asked if, the, if he could have some. The farmer agrees, and the first little pig begins to boil his straw house. A little further, down the road, the second little pig sees a lumberjack with a car stick. They seem it thick and long, just correct to boil a house. He asks if he can have some. The wood culture agreed, and the second little pig begins to boil his wooden house. The third, the third little pig throws down the pot. After a short time, he comes across a boiler who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of bricks. The three little pig thinks to himself, how strong those bricks look. I think they were an excellent house. So the third little pig, he asked the builder for some of his bricks and begins to build a house that will be stronger and bigger than the others. So, soon the three little pigs have a house of their and they are all very happy. Then one a day, then one day a big bad world comes walking and uh, then one, uh, then one day a big bad wolf comes walking along the road. He sees the first little pig in his touch's house with an evil grin in his eye. 
knock on the door on the first little pig. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he said. Not by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. I won't let you in, he screams the scarlet little pig. Then I he, I will have a puff and destroy your house. Walls, the wolf. The wolf puff and puff and puff. The touched house below. The first li little pig run, runs out the way to the brother's wooden house. The wolf is soon in the house made on of sticks. He knocks on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in and growl it. Not by the hair of our chin, chin, chins. We gon' let you in. <clears throat> They scared little pigs cry. Then I will have and I will have and I will blow your house down walls the wolf. The wolf puff and puff and puff the house below. The, the two little pigs run as fast as the they can out the way to his brother. Bricks house. The wolf is the wolf is song in the brick house. He knocked the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Wolves. Not like the hairs of our chin chin chins. We gon' let me, we won't let you in. They squeal the pigs. Then I will have, and I will have, and I will blow your house down. The world rats in his louder voice. The big bad wolf is very angry. He looks in the house and go first place. So fast like lightning, it rises up to the sailing and in the fireplace. But the big back wolf gives them a big surprise. The third little bit is making soap, and there was a big pot of boiling soap on the fire. The walls guys, the chimney, and lands right on it with a low howl. The flushing, the flushing, wolf leaps from the pot, runs out the house and out the of the way. There are, there are three little pigs. They climb. They clap lovely, lovely. The big bad wolf was never saying again. And the three little pigs live happily ever after. The end. Hey, thank you very much. That was fantastic, right? Hey, you you want to know uh, about the time you did? Come you, you want to know about the time you did? Seven minutes. The tail uh, lasted seven minutes. Terminé sudando de nervio. No, but that was quite good. While I was reading, while I was listening to to you to the tale about the three little pigs, 
I could notice that you encountered a lot of vocabulary there. En ese cuento hay, de, hay muchísimo vocabulario. Y este, solo como consejo, miren, pueden elegir una actividad o, o una historia o una novela o este, ver una película en inglés. Todo eso ayuda. ¿Ok? No escucha Vidal, que es... Ok. Vidal no nos escucha. Eh, Marisela. Hi. Hi, Marisela. La present. Ok, very good. Go ahead. Ok. Permítame que no le haya esta cosa. Ok, Marisela. No sé si logran verlo. Yes, we do. That's about ginger, right? Sí. Okay. Hen is a cable highlights and a. Um, se salió. Ahí está. Yeah, we can see it. We can see it now. Okay. Hen is a cowboy. Highlights. I'm. I am fine. He has a joy. Nice ginger. Hen loves ginger. Hey, rouse ginger every day. Sometimes they quite slow, and sometimes they run fast. They always have bad. Go time. Ginger is hot her. She is lime brown. Her tail and me are dark brown. She is through three years old. She is lying in the stable by the, the house. Ginger waits for her every morning. She enjoy the thing. Together, after he gives her apple, after long rains, he goes out and brushes ginger. He usually brushes on tay. They he he they he her food and freeze water. Ginger lot hangs. Finish. Okay, very good. Really nice story about ginger, right? And I can yes. see the simple present there. Okay, thank you very much, Marisela. Okay. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Okay, now listen, in order to finish, voy a pasar la lista así rapidito. Ya tengo, ya tengo anotado, pues prácticamente he estado... Así robando en unos segunditos para verificar la lista, a modo que no nos quite mucho tiempo al final. Sol, miren, solo voy a mencionar las personas que no veo acá, que no, que no, no he visto. Y a lo mejor yo no necesito verificar eso. Por lo menos Raquel, ¿estás aquí? 
Raquel. Okay, very good. Raquel is over here. Dina Maribel. Dina Maribel, are you over here? No. Miguel Angel. And that's it. Okay, ya, ya chequeé la, 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 la asistencia. Eh, solo mencioné con aquellas personas que tenía dudas. Ya los demás ya están, ya están acá registrados. No se preocupen, ¿ok? Necesito tomarme un par de minutos para decirles que necesito que trabajemos en algo para el día lunes. ¿Saben qué es un tongue twister? No. no. Un tongue twister es un trabalenguas, ¿ok? Sí. Sí, y, y un trabalenguas en inglés es súper genial aprendérselo porque eh, la intención del trabalenguas es decirlo súper rápido. Por ejemplo, yo me sé uno de I wish, the wish, the wish, the wish, but if the wish, the wish, the wish is the wish of a witch, I don't want to wish, the wish, the wish, the wish. Okay. So, uh -huh. Yo también ejemplo. puedo decir eso, wish, wish, wish. No, eh, eh, tuve un grupo que me decía, yo también puedo decir eso, teacher, wish, the wish, the wish, the wish, the wish, the wish. Entonces, <risa> entonces, no, miren, el objetivo es que empecemos a tratar de, de, de pronunciar sonidos de la manera correcta y, de, y un poquito más rápido, ¿ok? Un poquito más rápido. Y este, otra cosa que quiero que, que preparen, y esto sí va a ser libre, es este, que, que preparen cualquier actividad que a ustedes les venga bien para mostrarnos lo, lo que han aprendido en el curso de inglés básico, ¿ok? Puede ser un speech, puede ser una conversación, pueden, nos pueden contar un cuento, nos pueden... Bueno, ahí es a la creatividad de ustedes. Si quieren lo hacen en, en pareja o individual, solo me, me dejan saber. Eso es para la otra semana, ¿ok? Este, son las dos actividades que tengo para, para la próxima semana. Para bien o para mal, pues ya se nos está acabando el tiempo. Yo creo que es para bien porque ustedes han crecido en su aprendizaje. Pero ya la otra semana, pues se nos viene quedando ya un par de días nada más. Hay una, vamos a tener un tiempo en donde este, se, les, se les va a dar, este, o se les va a facilitar una encuesta de satisfacción de cómo se han sentido en el, en el curso, si sienten que han aprendido. Eh, algunas recomendaciones por ahí, todo eso es válido y valioso para nosotros, ¿ok? Eso nos ayuda a mejorar como docentes, como programa, porque lo que ustedes nos digan con sinceridad siempre y con, y con transparencia nos va a ayudar mucho, ¿ok? Uh, no sé si hay preguntas para la otra semana. ¿Para cuándo sería la, la tarea, la segunda que dimos? Estoy pensando en jueves, porque me imagino el viernes nos van a pedir la, la, la encuesta. Si no, imagínense, porque eso nos lo avisan a nosotros un día antes o algunas veces el mismo día. Si nos pasan, digamos, la encuesta el día jueves, entonces lo dejamos para viernes. Y si es al revés, pues entonces cambiamos el día. Puede ser jueves o puede ser viernes. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Siéntanse en la libertad de, pero eso sí que la actividad que ustedes preparen, que, que de alguna manera integre en su mayoría de cosas lo que nosotros hemos aprendido, ¿ok? Eso sería para la próxima semana. Y el lunes, con su tongue twister, ¿ok? Un trabalenguas, ¿ok? See you, uh, no more questions, no more observations, no más este, consultas o intervenciones. No. Ok. Let's see you next week. Have a nice weekend and a blessed weekend. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.